Welcome back to the channel. We went and did a little uh, cast net throwing this morning and filming some stuff for Jessica. What's the cast net company? Uh, it is Salty Network. And we have both Barracuda, Black Hole, and the Shoreline cast net. Um, this one right here is the Barracuda Black Hole. Bo's about to be ready. This is a first throw on a brand new net. So Bo's so. throwing the net. We filmed some content for them this morning. We're going to go fishing. It's my birthday today. We finished up early. I got a bunch of guys with me. He's our drone guy right here going on i'll introduce y'all to him more in a few minutes but uh we're gonna black out the wells with some white bait real quick i gotta get back on the machine and find it and uh we'll see y'all out there fish fish So we made it to the first spot and it didn't take long. Bo said chum them up. Me and Bo doubled up. Bo's is making run. Mine's just like dead weight. I got like a grouper style. Let's go. This is a tank. All right. This is a tank, bro. I know. I said the first ones that showed up were little and then all of a sudden the flashes came through. The major Nito. You got it. Oh. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Little tunas. Oh, give me wet. Little tunas. Great fun fish to catch. By the way, guys, we're out here at Anna Marie Island. Right outside of Anna Marie Island. We didn't tell y'all where we were today, but we're back home. Bo's got one on. Let's go see what he's got going on. The trout rod's doing it justice. <laughs> it is my trout rod. Feel <laughs> it, tail. He said, uh, not today, brother, not today. Bent over. Are you done with this? Are you sick of the dinner? No, 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 go back there. That's a big bonita. You ain't lying, huh? No, it's a tank. It was like a, it like a the first run, the first run was crazy. He was like, zzz, zzz, zzz. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's good. Not bad, not bad. Who needs a gas? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. They're a little fired up. A little fired up. Bo said, chum, they come. Who said that? <laughs> Who did? You? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just hear things. I don't know where they come from sometimes. I was going back there on my knees, just chumming. Everybody else, worrying about the Gigi. So. you catch one of these things? We well, got like 50 of them over here. You throw it my right. My reel is hot. <laughs> We got a double. Oh yeah. Oh, you landed that one pretty quick. Here, I got you. Look, look, I got the rod. I got the rod for you. Bring him up for you. Look at this one. Like a moan. You got quick hands, girl. I mean, you don't miss a look. Oh, got another one on the back. Screaming. Fish stick. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this morning when we headed out here while these two guys are fighting these two That's fish, we didn't think about coming fishing really. So we just threw some rods on the boat just to have a couple rods just in case. Look at the rays. Hold on, guys. Wow, cool. look at all the rays come by. Where's the cobia? All straight rays there. 
cool set of rays. That was awesome. Perfect flat day. And that's why we came out fishing. We did this photo shoot this morning. And we were like, oh, we got some rods on the boat, but we don't anything heavy. And uh, it's flat, low tide on the inside. So when it's low on the inside, you come on the outside and uh, we catch some fish, but we're we definitely there. underpowered. We underpowered today. Do they commercial fish these, Bo? Uh, no. No? There's no need for, no uh, the, 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 market for them? They just don't want a lot of them. Yeah, there's no market. Yeah. Oh, he's a Bonita expert, local. <laughs> uh, he says if you chum a whole bunch, they're gonna come. <laughs> We're gonna do what he said. Let's get chumming. <laughs> you know, they make a net for that. Yeah, where'd Jessica, it go? Here. Thank you. Yeah. Doesn't look very effective one at a time. No. It's kind of the, the breadcrumb, you know? There's real technique to this chumming. Mm. Well, handsome and gentle action. Yeah, just one at a time. I love that you picked up on that. Hansel and Gretel. That's so true. That's a big one too. Okay. Hey. He's got a big one on. Yeah, I'll grab him. Come in here. Coming in. Little footballs. Oh, oh, they're right behind the boat again. Little white baits. Yeah, we got one too. Plant those feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go again. There's like only about a hundred out there. Huh? Y'all make sure y'all got the two biggest ones. See ya. This one compared to the last one. Okay. You going up? Time to go. So as you can see, while they're hooking these two up, he's gonna put the drone up. We're gonna get you some awesome footage of uh, these things feeding underneath us. This is what he does for a living. What's the name of the company, Mary? Uh, Skyview SRQ. Skyview SRQ. We will put the link in the description below. Oh my lord! Look at him blowing up over there. But uh, he is a drone pilot. That is what he does. That's what he's out here to do on the shoot. We said, let's go fishing afterwards. He's putting the drone back up. I'm gonna get y'all some cool footage, so check it out. So we caught a bunch of Bonita. We got the box full of those and uh, we're going to head out. We're going to make a run out 20, 30 miles out into the Gulf and uh, it's a flat, calm day. We can't not do it. We are way underpowered. I mean, we got 3000 reels, but you know, we always like a challenge just like we pulled in Louisiana. We're going to pull a little challenge to see how big of a fish weight wise we can catch on these rods and see what we can do. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see this. We got some really experienced anglers and uh, know how to work a rod, but you still only got what you got. So they all got 20, 30 pound test. We're going to big boy grounds for big fish. And let's go see what we can do. All right, so we made it out about 30 miles out. Bo's hooked up. It's the first species gonna be. Grouper, huh? A little grouper. A little gang. Yeah. A little okay. baby gang. Something mate. It's a start, it's a start. On the hog ball. I like the lures around here. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> now I had to turn them. It's some crowd around here. Now I had to turn them. Gee, a big old AJ. Is that AJ? Probably a sea turtle. <laughs> sea turtle. 
I'm calling Black Reaper. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm looking at him. Who is it? Remember Jack. AJ. AJ. Dig, digging down like an AJ. Oh, I can feel it. Trust me. How's it feel? Uh, With little baby Terramar. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest this. This technique we decided to take today. What's it. on him? Another one? Pitch at him. You see him? Man, it's a workout on this light tackle. I mean, a workout. Almaco? Big ol' Almaco? Man, dude, that is a workout on that light tackle. Trying to catch my breath now. I mean, that is a workout. It's going the right direction, though. Go grab. All right, I'll take that. Oh, oh first miss. Not so rigid. First miss. Not as good as the Benita. Oh, uh -huh. we got that stiff too. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right, check it out, guys. That's the biggest one so far on light tackle. What you weigh him at? I'd say that's a good, good 11 pounds. All right, we're at 11 pounds. I'm gonna give it 12 on my birthday. Like Call him 12, okay? 12 pounds, offshore light tackle, AJ. I'm gonna get him back real quick. We're gonna shut the camera down and get this hook out of him. We're gonna just go. A lot of times when they're buried like that, deep in them, we just cut them off. We're gonna cut it off with a pair of pliers and send them back. Don't try and pull on his guts and all that good stuff. But as you can see, he's got another hook right there in the corner. And somebody else had already hooked them, but they didn't win the battle like I did. So let's get them back. It's about a thousand crates. So we made a little run out to a spring, and as you can see, there's a little blue water behind us. It's the first time in my life that I've ever been to blue water with trout rods. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, what the little grouper. We got, we got a little scamp. Oh, we can eat him. Now look at the lure he's using. What is that what lure we got? Squid tracks. Squid tracks. So Bo decided to put on a lure. We all got white baits on. We'll see what we can get next. A little scamp grouper. You got it. Come on. What's the lure out here for? <laughs> Let's go. Brought a knife to a gunfight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That rod's on too. Here you want to reel this one up? Throw on that rod holder. There's fish on there. On this one? Yep, it just bent over. Then the rod holder. He's still there. How still long's there? forever? Threw up on him hard. He hit it hard. No, he's gone. All right. I just saw it bend over twice hard. He's gone. He got that bait probably. What you what you think it is? I don't know. They are? I think Jess, you got me? No, it's like right. Oh, we got the other. Oh, God, big AR. Got the flat line wrapped up. No, you got this one. Let's I'm keep it tight. Keep it somewhere tight. That I know. I'm trying to keep them all tangling it all up. Tangling it all up. Well, they're pretty extinct for number three out of five fish. Yeah, you'll get that on the big couch. Got an AR on the bottom. Bo's got one on. Pretty hot little spot here at the spring. Well, that one's running a little bit. That's a different type of fight. What you think? What's your prediction? You got me, brother. It's swimming around a lot, huh? Exactly. Weird for yeah, it is. Snapper. Yeah, it's swimming a lot. Definitely making some right and left. Not very vertical on that one. Oh, well, I don't know what the heck this is. We got color. Don't throw an AR yet, back. Well, that is another AR. Yeah, big ARs, huh? Good eater. Oh, that's a little one. It looks bigger in the water. That's huge, like weird, brother. Yeah. He was, Definitely weird fish. They, they usually stay pretty much up and down. So out of the couple of fish we caught, a um, couple uh, mangroves, and then a bunch of red snappers over here at the spring. So we're going to bounce around and see what else we can catch. But light tackle is definitely giving us a workout. Mm. Let them rip. One. Help. Yeah, it's not much help here. Is he in the bottom? Yep. Yeah, I don't know what he could be in. What could be in down there? It's the like... spring is over there, I thought, though. Alright, we never know. 
don't know. It could be hard bottom around the spring, but the spring, like, literally, oh, it's just like down. the blue hole. It's a big fish. It's a very big fish. This is not a fish for a 3,000 reel setup. <laughs> So oh golly! <laughs> it looks like a shark fight type of oh, fight. Like the thing no. ain't moving. It's not a shark, but he's in. The, he's yeah, in the structure. Oh. Just keeps going down. You're in the structure you for sure. It. Just a slow, steady doggy pull all the way down to the bottom. You're definitely in structure. All right, we got our first one. First big fish that took us. We don't know what it was. They're gonna go with, uh, what, nurse shark? Yeah, that's what they're gonna go with. Too big to turn, broke us off, first one, but that's a good sign, we're looking for something big to land on this light tackle, so, I don't know. Maybe we'll hook up something big on the next cast. We'll see what happens. A little too big. 200 pounds, 300 pounds might be a little too much for a medium action uh, inshore saltwater speckled trout rod. Might be an eater, though. We're down for eaters too. Oh, well, it's not red. Another. Oh, it's got reddish color. Hey. Make it... Ew. Oh. Ew. I know. Is that really red? It don't look like a red. It looks like a vermilion. Let's go with vermilion. <laughs> Throw him in a box. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Peeped all kidding. over me. What is he eating? What is that? I don't know. You want to taste it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Red snappers. Is that the flat line? Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. That the... <laughs> All right, so we got our first fish on a flat line. We put two flat lines and some chummers out way out here, and uh, we on a little reaper medium heavy like on a, a flat line. We might have a tuna. That's what we're calling. That's when the snappers came up. You know, the I don't need the tuna. Is it an AR? Uh, line. Yeah, I would call some of our biggest ones this year like that. Yep, and it is a bigger one. It's a mutton. <laughs> so Not a cabetta. On the flat. Another AR. They said two more ARs and we're making a move. So, <laughs> look, last year, y'all saw it. If you go check out some of our old videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll see more of it this year. But we'll see in our last year videos, we caught some of our biggest ARs on flat lines. We're sitting at 120 feet, and uh, it, it was always our big ones. All the big ones you'll see last year were on them. So, not an uncommon thing to see out here. See you in June, buddy. So she's got a shrimp on this time. I'm and she's gonna call vermilion, vermilion snapper. She got what, two of those in the back right now? Two vermilions, two mangroves. We almost got a little sandwich. Oh, oh. Ooh, almost, like almost like she knows what she's doing. Y'all call her for all your charters. Be She'll take you out here. The light tackle. Yeah, I'll take you out here in the little scout. <laughs> we'll put all of her information. She's a guide out of here, out of Sarasota, uh, Anna Maria too. We'll put all her information down in the uh, comment section and we'll get her a little page up on uh, landed fishing and fin catchers. So make sure y'all check her out. I'm calling the same. You calling the same thing? She's calling a million snapper again. She's got hooked up again. I'd rather it be a mangrove, but. Why, they taste better? I don't know. Yeah. About a horse piece, I think. That one eats. I think it's a small vermilion. I have no idea. Oh, oh, that's very snapperish. Oops. What was that? What was that? Look at a piece of a rod or something. What's that? I don't know. Oh, Maybe a shell. Uh, what do we got? A oh. grouper? <laughs> a baby so scamp? Mine got away. He jumped from mine to yours. I wonder what hit the table or something. It looked like the knob on the back of the rod, but it wasn't. Uh, it's still all there, so. Could have been a shell out of a shoe or a pants early. I think, uh, I think they're biting. The yeah, that was a different species. You got a group or two? Nope. You got on fire on those. You got them hooked up. What you on shrimp still? No, that was on a, on a white bait. Uh oh. You got a little honey hole. Merrick, did your drone still fly? Is it too windy? Uh, batteries again. Oh. What you got there? Another grouper? Ooh, strawberry, huh? Strawberry. Oh, strawberry. You're going all flavors today. All the varieties. You got a scamp. Not at the same time they do it. Scamp, gag, strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Where's, Where's a cool little fish? Where's the black at? Yeah, those are cool yeah, fish. Yeah, cool fish. They get really, really cool. cold. 
I don't know if y'all can see that, but they get old. Really old. Yeah, they're good. They're giddy. I've never had one though. They don't. No. It's about as big as they get. Really? Yeah. So what I know that's full grown. Between a strawberry and a gas beet, grass beet. It's like know. almost the same. That's as big as they get, huh? They don't get much bigger. Uh, how old are they? Real old. Real old. Yeah. Bye, old man. What's it calling? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> We're gonna roll. I cheated. I saw it. It's like you know, four or five. I'd like to get maybe a lane or like something same, same, but different. All right, so Bo just caught a different species that none of us have ever seen caught on a hook and line. Look what he's got. He's got him a lionfish. On the Bo, bump, show him on, outside the light. On the bump troll. On the <laughs> I don't want to want to catch him. Look at that thing. That's a mean looking fish right there. Dude, on the bump troll. <laughs> Look at that sucker. This is the new uh this is the new thing we're doing now. You gotta belly hook him <laughs> with a fish finder on the bump troll and we're just gonna go out here. <laughs> just absolutely. Seriously, they're delicious if you cut their spines up. Okay. Or let's guess what I got. <laughs> oh you got another one. Another one, she's got another bee on her. Another one. She's on a roll. She must have been hungry today. You said you didn't eat today. I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> well, like you got dinner. I don't like this. Boo, meanwhile, back here is uh, dealing with his first ever lionfish back here. Yeah, no. Everybody's a little scared. No, thanks. The neurotoxins they, of that fish. All right, so. They really are good. So, are, are they edible without cutting the spines out out here? They're edible when you get them home? All right. Danger level high. Okay. All right. I'm taking a lionfish home. We're going to do a quick cleaning catch on the lionfish. Oh. I think this will be super cool. It's caught on rod and reel. Something you don't see often. Didn't know we were going to do out here with light tackle. Got a lionfish. We're going to go back and cook that. We're going to fish a little bit longer, see if we get anything else cool. But that's, that's going to be our cook, no, cooking catch on this one. That's pretty cool and uh, a pretty cool fish to cook up. So let's go back fishing. <laughs> you got eaten? I, 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 mean, I feel I, like I did on the last one too. You calling gummy shark or what? No, that's 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 a freaking Goliath Goliath trooper. <laughs> and you got you said that's a nice snapper. I think I'm gonna eat that. Alright, so we might have met our match on a light tackle. Uh I just got bit off a minute ago and uh Bo was reeling a fish up and just got hooked up. If it's a Goliath. Dude, look at its head shakes. Is it a Goliath? Yeah, it's, I mean, definitely a Let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll let you know here shortly what happens. Plus 100 pounds. I can't put any more heat on It's turning into quite an interesting day between the lionfish and now we got big heat. If you turn this thing on light tackle, you the man. Is he holding or is he in no. the box? We'll check back in with you in a few minutes. Bo's going to be a little while. You're on a roll. You're consistent. It's like number six or seven. Same size, same family. He's taking the whole family. They come off every time. Feel like a little snapper. Oh, he's still there. Don't hold your camera. You Put it on him. Is it like a snapper? I feel like a snapper. I feel like I've stayed on the oh, eating curve. Pizza. Red? Piece of mangrove. Hey, Piece of mangrove. There you hey. go. We're on the eating crew. I think I'm on the eating crew too. Watch the way. Yep, I'm joining the team. <laughs> hey. Joining the team. Team good eats. Yep, yep, I'm joining. I'm on the board. Number two. Mangrove. She got there. Nice mangrove. Pretty mangrove. Boat, 
the best one I've gotten so far. Oh, doesn't get eaten. He's mad. What do you think it is? I don't know. Big AR. I'm gonna go with AR, big AR, just because it's been the, the number. I don't fish out here enough to know. It's a different kind of bite. Telling me I didn't have to buy all them red snapper rods. I could have just came out here with my redfish and speckled trout rods and caught my limit in the Apparently. summer. Apparently. Apparently, I didn't need all that big game. We're bringing 2,000 next time. A year, yeah. <laughs> Crappie rods are coming with us next time. I think you're bringing a Barbie Zetco. Looking like an AR, we'll see. A little color. Grouper? No, that's a mango, buddy. That's a buddy. nice Ooh. man. Nice man. I got it. That's what I'm talking about. That's a cubana. That's a cubana. <laughs> Look at her. like, let me think. That's a mangrove right there. Look at that mangrove. Turn from an AR to a good mangrove. We love to see it. Getting a good birthday this year. He does this every year. That's a mangrove right there, man. That's gotta be my biggest one I ever caught in Florida right there. It's a stud. That, that is. Like You're moving. Oh, oh, oh. Did you hear it? Tink, tink, tink. Yep, yep. <laughs> on that note, we're gonna take it back to the house on that break. Bite slowed up a bit. The sun's going down behind us. And we're gonna start cooking up some lionfish. I don't know how I'm gonna cook it yet. But we'll decide when we get in. I gotta show y'all kind of the process involved in cleaning one of these once I learn. Uh, they are very dangerous. They got spines that have poison in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on YouTube myself and learn a little how to clean them. And then I'm gonna cook them all up. There you go. All right, so we made it back to the house after a long day of fishing. I put the fish on ice last night. And this morning I went and researched how to clean a lionfish because I hear this venomous is like 10 times more poisonous than a catfish. I don't want no part of it. I don't want to find out the hard way. So they say I need a pair of snips. These are what I had in the garage. I'm gonna hold them by the gills. I'm even a little scared to even grab them. And they're telling me to take these spines and just cut them all off. These are, there's a bunch of spines up here. I'm gonna cut all those down. And they tell me there's one underneath this fin right here. Cut this one off and the pectoral fin. And then they tell me there's one more right here. So I am trimming all those away. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'll cut these bottom ones off. They tell me there's none on the face, so I'm not too worried about the face. Ow. Ooh, he's got spikes on the face though. All right, we'll get rid of all these. Get rid of one right there. They told me there's nothing in the meat, so that's all the poisonous tentacles. They tell me I'm good to go from here. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fillet knife, which I've already sharpened up, and we're gonna make ceviche out of this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do ceviche, okay, out of this, and then I'm also gonna do some crusted mangrove snapper we have. So I'm just gonna cut these off so I don't play with them. I'm gonna clean off the fish. Pull the skin off in a minute. We'll do some mangrove snapper and then a couple other things for y'all. We're gonna make quite the Sunday feast up today. All right, there's my two fillets. He's going in the garbage. All of his fins are going in the garbage. Every one to make sure those end up in there. Beautiful fillets. And we're gonna go ahead and Wow, it's nice and tender. Pull this off the skin. There's that. And here's the other one. Alright, there's those two fillets off the lionfish. And uh, I'm going to get those and get them in a bag. And uh, this is what else I'm cooking. These are our little mangroves. So I'm going to get all this filleted up, bagged up. Ceviche here. Parmesan crusted mangrove and a couple other things to go along with it. We get this part done and I'll get right back with y'all. All right guys, now we're up in the kitchen. 
clean the lionfish up. I'm really excited about this. Look, one thing I can tell you, I'm from Louisiana. I love to cook, but our cooking's way different here in Florida when I'm down here and uh, catching all these different species that I'm not used to catching, which nobody on the boat had ever caught a lionfish on a rod and reel. So I got some lionfish. This is what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna do lionfish ceviche. I got some mangrove snapper that we saw us caught on the video. I'm gonna planko across that and put that on the, the griddle top, okay, with some oil. And then I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts, okay? Make some balsamic Brussels sprouts. That's gonna be the meal tonight. That's what we're going with. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up this lionfish, okay? Let me get my fillet knife over here. All right. I'm just gonna chop it up into little sections. And I wanna give a little bit of credit to Deer Meat for dinner for this one because I looked at his recipe and that's where I decided to grab this off of. Cut it all in little chunks. Chunk it all up. Should have sliced it in half. This is all a learning curve for me, guys. So we are gonna learn together how to make some ceviche. All right, I'm gonna cut all of it up. All right, guys, so I got my lionfish all chopped up and we went ahead and chopped up a few other things. Didn't want to bore you with that. Got some orange pepper, got some red pepper, got some white onion and got some cilantro. Okay, go ahead and throw all that in there real quick. So actually, we're not gonna put that in there yet. I'm gonna do this first, because once again, I learned this. You always wanna put your lemon in there first and your lime in there first to start cooking it and submerging it. One thing I learned while watching Dear Me For Dinner's video is that you put these in a microwave for about 15 seconds and get some more of the juice out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, then we're gonna get these Brussels sprouts ready. We got some balsamic glaze, kosher salt to this. We're gonna get it all rolling here in a second. So obviously you wanna go proportionate to what you have as far as fish. And we only call it one lionfish because they're not very common to catch that way. Most guys spear them. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this bad boy out. One of these tools is very nice. I'm used to the old school way. I don't even know if I did it correctly, but boy, does it work nicely. Oh, it goes the other way? Mm hmm All right, well, worked it another way. Working quite good though. Let's try it the other way. Let's cut up these other two. Big old lemon. Come on. I'm guessing the microwave is supposed to soften them up. So I'm being told by the camera person that they're going this way, which I don't know how we squeeze it sucker down, but we're going to. Got some big lemons. All right. I don't know what your work there. Oh, Looks like it fit in there better the other way, but we're gonna go with this one. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> hope that didn't get on lens, guys. All right, I'm gonna get two more limes going. This is not the quickest thing, but it's uh, getting us some good juices going. All right, I got all that done. Work out of here and get it all buried in that juice. So you can't leave, you can't use too much. It's gonna go in the refrigerator for about 20-25 uh, minutes, but you can't overcook it. At 20-25 minutes, the beach is cooked up with kosher salt. 20, 25 minutes is cooked up, but you can't overcook it. So that'll give me time to cook up these Brussels sprouts. Get all these in there. And uh, get the grill fired up for... I love the colors of all this stuff. When you start putting all this kind of stuff together, it's like guacamole, I love it. I'll mix it all up. Boy, this is looking good, actually. This is looking good. I'm getting excited to eat tonight now. On a hot summer day, this would be great. All right, so that's all mixed up. Go ahead and throw that in the refrigerator and we're gonna get the Brussels sprouts and fish going. All right guys, so now we're gonna start on the Brussels sprouts, okay? One of my favorites, okay? I love some balsamic Brussels sprouts. All I'm gonna do, throw a little olive oil, about two tablespoons, 
I like to guess stuff. All right, a little balsamic vinaigrette in there. All right, a little salt, a little salt and pepper. A little bit grinding. All right, we're gonna mix all that up. A little bit extra balsamic in there. Like a little flavor on them. And a little garlic. I'm gonna toss this garlic in there. And mince garlic in there. Alright, and then I'm gonna pour them out on a cookie sheet and send them into the oven. All the juice on top of them, all this garlic out of here. Spread them all out on there. Oh, lost one. And they go into the oven. Got the. I got the oven on 400. I'm gonna put them in there for about 20 minutes and then check them. Now I'm gonna get started on the uh, mangrove snapper, the Planko crusted mangrove snapper. All right, guys, now we're going to start with this mango snapper, this beautiful fresh mango snapper. One thing I'm going to do is throw some salt and pepper. I always do this on every fish I cook. A little salt and pepper. Okay. Just a little bit. All right. And then what I did here is I got, in this bowl, I got two eggs and about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. And that's going to be my coating. And a little Cajun seasoning in there. They got a little Cajun seasoning up in there. All right, now that I got all that mixed up, pretty simple what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go from the mangrove to the egg batter, drain that out. Then I'm gonna go into the flour, just flip it one time in there. And then I'm gonna go into this Planko crust. Now, Planko comes, I just got the standardized Planko, okay? And the Planko just comes, so I just got the Publix brand, regular Planko. And I threw some Cajun seasoning in there and some red pepper flakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat these. All right, we're gonna get them all coated up nicely. And then we're gonna get them up on a baking sheet because be honest with y'all guys, be honest with y'all guys, it's winter time and uh, we're not really summer yet, not really winter, but it gets dark real early. So outside it's gonna be hard to, hard to film for y'all. And all I was gonna do is throw them on a, uh, a griddle top. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven with the Brussels sprouts and get them cooking up. All right, guys, now I got them all done. Uh, they're all ready to go. It's just two of us eating tonight, so we made three of them. Um, Tristan, our son's a little uh, under the weather. He's in bed tonight, so just me and her, a little ceviche, three pieces in here, and some Brussels sprouts. Throw them in the oven at 400 for about 16 to 20 minutes. I'm going to check on them and see them brown and off, and I will see you all in a minute with the finished product. So good. Tell me that don't look good. This is gonna be some good stuff. Let me show you the ceviche. Let me grab this out the oven. Show y'all what this is looking like. Look at that. Mmm. Smells good. Looks good. We'll see you on a few minutes with the finished product. All right, guys. So I've let it cook about eight minutes, and uh, it's time to flip. Remember, make sure you want to flip. Oh, whoa, I just broke it in half because I wasn't paying attention. Make sure you want to flip fish. Try not to break it. Use a spatula. I'm going to go ahead and flip this fish. And give it about another six, eight minutes. And we're going to go ahead and show you all the finished product of what we got here. So get ready. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. Let's go. All right. All right, guys, we're all ready. I'm going to go ahead and start plating this up. And I'm going to have you all check this out with me. We got our mangrove. Alright. Let's get some mangrove on there. Oh, this stuff looks amazing. Some Brussels sprouts. Alright. <laughs> this is looking good. First time's a charm, guys. These Brussels sprouts look amazing. One of my favorite things. All right. Now, we're over here. Go with some ceviche. Some 
Ricci on there. Mm -hmm. Strong and peppers on there. One last touch, all right, guys. Balsamic glaze, all right, for these uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna go ahead and glaze them real quick. Look at that, guys. Whew. Look at that. If that's not a good meal from a fresh cooked fish, I don't know what is. Hey guys, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We got a bunch more coming. This is lionfish and, and mangrove snapper. I got triggerfish coming. I got um, red grouper coming. I got sheephead coming. I got all kind of videos coming. I got all kind of fish stacked up that we've been catching that we're going to cook up for y'all. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Appreciate all the support. We can't say it enough. 2024 has been a great start to the year. See y'all next time.